And when it comes to girls hoops, La Jolla Country Day has a re reputation for cranking out some of the best talent in the country. They have another talented player enjoying her senior year. Our Marcus Greaves has more on the Tories, Brea Cunningham. La Jolla Country Day has been known for producing some of the best basketball talent in the entire country. Players like Candace Wiggins, one of the best women's basketball players in history, WNBA star Kelsey Plum, and McDonald's All-American and current University of Oregon guard Tina Pow Pow. But center Brea Cunningham is the next great talent in line. And it helps that these greats come back to give her motivation of what she could accomplish. It's exciting just because, you know, um, you know, Kelsey comes back and she practices with us. So it's fun to have that person come back and just um, see what I could do. And, you know, and it's, it's, a, it's a nice, like, inspiration to just keep myself moving forward. It's good motivation. And while Brea's love for the game is strong, she's learning that being a leader and a great player comes with a lot of pressure. There is a lot of like outside pressures um, just because people expect a lot from you. A lot of pressure to still drop a, a number of points and get a number of rebounds. So it's kind of hard to just sit back and have fun and play the game because you're always having a goal that you have to work for because of that pressure. But aside from the pressure, if you stand out at Country Day, the college offers will come. Once they start pouring in from some of the most legendary programs across the country, it was a surreal feeling for Brea. It first really hit me when I got an offer from UConn. The national championship goes to Connecticut for the fourth year in a row. Because since I was little and like UConn's always been this big power five school, like they've been unbeatable for, for a little while. And just getting that offer of knowing that they want me to be on their team was, it was really humbling and I, I really appreciated that. But not looking too far ahead, the ultimate goal is to do what she can to help lead her team to their collective goal winning a state championship. Working hard, keep practicing hard, and then take it one game at a time. And obviously the end goal is to win a state. From CBS 8, I'm Marcus Greaves.